Hello everyone and welcome. So in today's video, I'm giving you guys a review of this Breville Precision. I got this machine a couple of months ago and it has been fantastic so far. The main reason I got it is because this machine can brew up to 12 cups of coffee. And it has the option if you want to brew only one single cup of coffee that's still very high quality, you can do that. And just like my Barista Express, this machine, you can adjust the settings and customize your brew and it has a lot of presets and modes that are all very good I almost tried every single one of them and the coffee it brews is significantly better than any other brewer I've used before and honestly it's actually really easy to set up and use I reset mine so I can do it again with you so let's go ahead and start with that Alright guys, so first I'm going to take a minute to show you everything comes with this unit. Now this machine actually comes in two different versions. You can buy the one with the glass carafe. I can insert picture right here. Now that one has like a warming blade. I don't like it because I feel it ends up burning your coffee. So I like this one better. This one is stainless steel carafe. I like it. It doesn't have a warming plate, but it still keeps your coffee warm. After like two, three hours, your coffee is not going to be steaming hot but it will still be tasty next we're going to talk about the filter so it came with this zero waste mesh basket and use this one whenever you're brewing anything over eight cups the only problem i have with this one is somehow it allows a very fine coffee grounds into the coffee this will only appear as a sediment in the last cup you pour out and if you are brewing anything between two to eight cups they recommend you use this cone shaped filter basket and since it has this opening on the bottom you need to use a paper filter with it it didn't come with any so I actually found this at Target and I purchased it this size works perfectly and lastly it came with a bag of 10 of these flat bottom paper filters you also need to use these whenever you're brewing anything over eight cups and you need them for the iced coffee we'll talk about that later now it's very important never use the mesh basket with the paper filter this is way too much it's going to clog the flow and this is your brew basket you need it for all of these filters right now i'm going to install it on without a filter because we're going to do the flush so make sure there's no filter on and we're going to install it oh and this your water reservoir doesn't come off but it's actually really easy to open and for cleaning since it has this wide opening here you can really get in here and wipe it out you're going to notice when you brew coffee a little bit of water is going to remain in the tank this is normal i usually just leave the lid half open like this so it can air it dry and it doesn't get foggy you have lines here are very easy to read and two method of measuring so you have ounces and cups and it came with this scoop so you can measure out your coffee in the manual there's actually a chart shows you how much coffee to measure out for the amount of cups you are making and a quick note always make sure you measure out your water because this machine will brew all the water in the tank so make sure it doesn't have any excess amount of water so the first thing you need to do to set up your machine is you need to test your water hardness and flush out the machine it came with this test strip so you can test your water hardness this will determine how often the machine will ask you to descale it and to do that we need to put some water in the water reservoir I should mention this machine doesn't take a water filter maybe because it affects the flow rate that's just my guess so they just recommend you use a clean filter water and now we're going to take the test strip and dip it in the water for one second now remove it and wait one minute to find out the hardness level now i'm going to set my hardness level based on the red dots showed on my tester so i got three of them so i'm going to make sure wake it up first select it and now I'm going to change the three and it is set now it is saying flush so we need to flush out the machine make sure you have your basket in place you don't need no filter and make sure your carafe in place as well and to do that we're just going to press the select button once all right guys so now the machine is all ready to go let's take a look at our options here so this machine has five presets mode you have fast gold strong over ice cold brew we're going to go over them one by one and we're going to test them out so fast 
it gives you a full carafe in record time. They said this machine is one of the fastest brewer out there. And we're going to test that. I'm actually going to put 12 cups of water in here. I'm going to measure out 12 scoops of coffee and I'm going to set a timer and see how fast this machine is going to deliver my full carafe. When you fill the machine anything over four cups, two of the modes disappear over ice and cold brew. So now I got my timer here. I'm going to press start on the machine and the time. All right, guys, so just note, under fast mode, the machine doesn't bloom, so you might be risking some quality, but I think it's a nice option to have for those busy late mornings. So it took about 12 minutes for 12 cups of coffee. I don't think that's bad at all. Now let's move on to the next one. So next we have gold. This mode meets the SCA gold standard requirements. So when you select it, the machine automatically adjusts the water temperature, a brew time to meet the standard set by the SCA for a precisely balanced cup of coffee. And for this one, they recommend you use the cone shaped filter basket. And you also want to use a paper filter. Now the ratio they recommend 55 grams of coffee for 4 cups of water which is 1 liter. Now for this brew because we have the cone basket I'm going to go under settings and change the filter type to cone. I just want to mention gold doesn't bloom if you have anything over four cups and I always like to remove my carafe from underneath the basket so it's not pressed down this allows the steam to just keep and that will cool down your coffee faster so definitely always remove it got my cup here and you don't need to press anything it's already on pour so you can just pour right away now that's very good. If you're wondering what the blooming is, when coffee beans are roasted, they drop a lot of CO2 in them. So during blooming, the machine gives the beans a little bit of water and pauses to allow the beans to release some of those CO2. And then it continues to brew the coffee. So that's called blooming. Now straw makes a stronger tasting coffee. And for this one, I'm going to test it using the exact same quantities I use for the gold setting. Now, if you're wondering how strong makes a stronger tasting coffee, it does that by lengthening the brew time and increasing the temperature. Let's give it a taste. It's crazy, but I can totally tell the difference. Now, that's definitely a strong cup of coffee. Next, we have over ice. Now, this mode is for making hot coffee in a small concentrated amount because the coffee is going to be diluted with ice. That's why it's great for iced coffee. And for this mode, they don't want you to fill up the tank over four cups. This is considered the max line for cold brew and over ice. So fill it up to the four cups line and they want you to double the amount of coffee grounds that you normally use for regular brews. So for example, if I'm making four cups, I usually do four scoops of coffee, but this time I'm going to do for four cups, I'm going to do eight scoops of coffee. Now remember, this is hot coffee, so you're gonna have to transfer it to a cup and then we're going to let it cool down at room temperature. Once it is at room temperature, we'll put it in a fridge so we can chill it for two hours. That's why I like to do this overnight. So once I'm ready for like my iced coffee, my coffee will be ready and chilled. And then you can just pour it over ice and enjoy it. Next, we have my brew. Now in here, you can dial on your own settings. You can control bloom time. You can change it to 30 if you want. You can also control the brew temperature and flow rate. And from here, you can actually access the pour over. This is going to be our next brew. So I'm going to select it, turn it on, and we are in pour over mode now. All right, guys, so I think this is a really fun function for those who want to automate their pour over experience. But you do need to purchase a separate adapter for it. It's sold separately. I got the Bravel. And you also need to purchase a pour over dripper. Now, first, I'm actually going to change the shower head to the pour over shower head. So I'm going to unscrew the shower head from here. 
Okay, now I'm going to put my pour over shower head on. Now I'm going to screw the shower head ring back. Place your dripper adapter on. I think it's a really good idea to use the case to raise your cup closer to the dripper. Since I'm only making one cup, I'm going to add one scoop of coffee. I'm going to place my dripper on top here and press start. I like the flavor, it's very rich, but I just think the temperature is not hot enough for me and that's because I think all the steam was escaping from the sides, that's why the temperature of the coffee it is really not that hot and I like hot coffee. But the flavor is really rich and I like the flavor of pour over coffee a lot and I really liked how the machine bloomed the coffee automatically. Next we have cold brew, so this one is basically a coffee that is brewed with cold water over a long period of time. So when you select it, you can actually pick your time. You can do up to 24 hours, so I usually do 10 hours. This is a really long cycle, so I really recommend you do this one at night so your cold brew is ready in the morning and the max line for this one is only four cups and for that they want you to use a large paper filter like this and as far for coffee they want you to use two to three times your regular ratio so for example if I am brewing four cups of coffee I usually use four scoops of coffee so for this I'm going to use 12 scoops of coffee instead this is a really concentrated coffee that is need to be diluted with water so once your coffee is here, you place your basket in and for the carafe, remove the lid. The lid must be off when you are brewing this cycle. You can actually use different cup. If you have a large cup or thermos, you can use that as well, but no lid. The lid should be off like this. And once you press start, what's gonna happen, the machine's going to start brewing this water into here. And once the water is all here with the coffee, it's going to stop and pause. And once your timer goes off, the machine automatically is going to drain the water from the filter basket and that will be your cold brew. Now in settings, you can set your clock. It also has settings for sound, standby, filter type. And the last thing I want to talk about here is the auto start. So with this machine, you can actually delay your brew. I can load up my coffee grounds in the evening and I can wake up in the morning to freshly brewed coffee. It's amazing. I think it's a really nice feature. I've tried it once and I think it's really nice. Alright guys, so this is a really cool machine like you guys saw. I know it's expensive But I also think it's very well made and it is extremely versatile And I think the cost is really justified by the experience and the flexibility to brew your coffee Just the way you like it every morning. It has definitely added new dimension to our morning coffee Now we are experimenting with different types of coffee and brew cycles while at the same time looking for a grinder because I feel that's the only thing we're missing right now because we'll definitely appreciate the taste of fresh coffee in the morning and grind our own daily so I am in the market looking for a good grinder that is affordable so if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments down below but that does it for this video guys I really hope that you all enjoyed it if you did please thumbs it up consider subscribing and I'll see you next time bye bye